We first presented ISCAT in 2004 in the context of detection and spectroscopy of uh, gold nanoparticles. Uh, in the 10 years that followed, we developed this technique further for uh, detection and tracking of biological nanoparticles like viruses and small proteins. Uh, the essence of the technique is that uh, any material object, no matter how small, has a finite extinction cross-section. The main advantage of this technique is the label-free detection. This means that if we're sensitive enough, we can detect just about anything, like proteins or exosomes secreted from single cells. The issue that one has to be careful about is how to treat the scattering background. A great advantage of an ISCAT microscope is that it can be completely home-built and it can be added to an existing commercial microscope. This means that it can be easily combined with other optical techniques such as fluorescence, and this is one of the reasons that many groups are also now employing ISCAT and related techniques. Here, we utilize LUTS cells as a model system to show the detection of individually secretory proteins. However, this method can be also applied to probe almost any biological process at the molecular level. To achieve a stable microscope, begin with a damped optical table and a rigid massive block for the sample stage. Build a microscope sample stage that incorporates a high numerical aperture objective and a translation unit that allows for lateral sample translation as well as change of focus position for the objective. Use a 45 degree vertical coupling mirror and a 50 cm focal length singlet lens to focus the light of a diode laser at wavelength 445 nanometers onto the back focal plane of the objective. This wide field lens creates a color.